Hey guys, this is just a quick video showing you how I take down my protective style with the least amount of breakage. So to see how I do this, you're gonna to wanna to keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be showing you how I take down my protective style in the safest possible way. Now guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I've had this protective style in for three weeks. You can tell by the fluff and the disappearance of my portings. <laughs> there you go that my hair has been in for quite some time. Now I've done everything I needed to do. I've shown you how I maintain a protective style whilst I have a protective style in. Now it's time for the takedown guys and the product I'm going to be using today. Something you may not consider as a takedown product. However, this works perfect in my hair for this purpose. And the product I'm talking about is Dr. Miracle's Akai Thermal Protection Styler. So yes, you heard me right guys, it's a thermal protectant, a heat protectant, but when I put it on my hair to do my blowout, to do my hair straightening, it doesn't do anything for my hair, hence why I use hair grease to straighten and blow dry my hair, but that is another video which you can watch at the end of this video. I'm not going to be showing you how I wash my hair afterwards, I'm just gonna be showowing you how I take down this style. Obviously what you're gonna need are a pair of scissors. We'll need a comb for the detangling process, however, right now, when I'm taking out the plaits, I'm just gonna use my fingers, and this product. So I just want to look and see where my real hair is and I've got these little adornments, my little hair jewellery on there. Now because I'm not sure where my actual hair starts on here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut as low as possible where I think So the first thing I would say guys is don't necessarily get a bunch of hair and just cut it all together. I think it's best to investigate where your real hair stops. Before I start taking this down guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of this on my hands, rub it in over the ends, just to start off and make it loose for me to start loosening out, okay? There you go. So right now I can just feel that it's the synthetic hair. And you will need a bag for this guys to put any of the leftover hair in. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm just gonna talk about this hairstyle. Now this hairstyle was great for protective styling. As you can see, I've got a lot of growth. I've had a lot of growth. This style has been great, but there are three reasons why this wasn't actually my favorite protective style. Reason number one being is that when I have my hair in small cane rows, my scalp tends to itch a lot. I'm not sure what that's about. If I have bigger cane rows, I don't really get the itching so much. So if you are familiar with that theory, and if you have come to understand why that happens, then please let me know. Number two being, when I have a style as small as this, and it's cane rode down to my hair, there's not really much I can do with it. I can either put it into, I can either put it into a ponytail, but other than that, I mean, I can't wear it up in a high barn. There's just, there's a limited amount of styles that I can do. And sometimes I just wanna wear my hair in a different style. Hence why I change my protective styles regularly. Now, as these are small cane rows, I had more reason to keep them in for a longer amount of time because obviously they took time to put in and I wanna see some growth. So here I'm coming to my natural hair. And I don't wanna just drag this synthetic hair out. I'm going to ease it apart. There you go. So I'm gonna to continue to do that with the rest of my hair. Point number three, why this protective style was my least favorite. I find that doing a protective style, mainly cane rows with the extensions, the back of my hair tends to feel a bit tighter because I'm trying to get all those strands in, which creates a bit of tightness and restriction until my hair starts to grow out and I've got more movement. By that time, my hair is looking quite fluffy as it is right now. And those are the three reasons. So guys, for this part, as I said, for the product, and I will link the product details down below in the description box. However, you can also choose to use actual takedown product, a kid's one that I use on my daughter's hair. It's this one right here and they're perfect. What I noticed with these, why they're so good for takedown, is because they contain glycerin, and my hair loves glycerin. However, I don't have any to hand, and this is actually fine for my hair. If I was going to do a pre-poo treatment, I would be using those particular takedown products because they are actually for pre-poos as well. However, I don't need them. So, I'm not necessarily gonna do a pre-poo treatment. I'm just gonna take these out my hair and detangle my hair with this. I'm just gonna show you now, I've just caught up on a piece of strand that's wrapped around one another. 
So I'm going to gently ease them apart. I'm not going to yank them out. As I've got a section now, you can see I've got a bit of a knot here. And all I'm going to do is pull down the bottom and try and ease it apart. I'm trying to reduce as much breakage as possible. Okay, so right now I'm just going to separate. And I will say guys, there's a difference between breakage and there's a difference between hair fall. Now hair fall is when you see that the hair comes from the root and you've got the white hair follicle. Let me see if I've got any in here. So basically we shed hair daily. And as I said, I've had my hair like this for three weeks. So that's a lot of shed hair and I can see some hair fall here. So if you can see this tiny little strand of hair. Okay, can you see there's a tiny, tiny, can you see the hair follicle moving up and down? I don't know if you can. That is hair that's meant to come out and that's not breakage, that's from the root. So don't be alarmed guys, if you do get a bit of hair coming out, it's not because your hair is breaking necessarily, depending on how you do it. Guys, our hair grows, it's just length retention that we're trying to retain. So let me go and get my comb, as I said you will need, and I'm gonna start detangling this part. I'm just gonna use my little afro pick for the moment. I'm just gonna start on the ends. and work my way down. My hair definitely feels like I can feel the growth. Even though it's a, just a, maybe about an inch, inch and a half. I can definitely feel the difference. Right, so now I'm just gonna twist this up and keep it out of the way. And all I'm gonna do after this, guys, as I said, I'm just going to wash my hair and put it in another protective style. And I'm gonna be collecting the hair, all the shed hair, like I just got from that and I will show you at the end of this video completely how much shed hair I have. So that is basically it guys, there's not really much more to it. Look for where your natural hair ends and then cut just below that. Unravel the hair by putting a leave-in, a lotion and what have you just so your hair is not dry as you're taking it out. My hair is in pretty good condition as I said because I've been using the hair grease and moisture washing my hair during the protective style. And then once you've done that you want to slightly ease any knots out with your fingers and then finally you want to go in with the detangling comb or detangle with a comb all right guys so i will see you in a minute okay guys so i'm just showing you this part so i've taken out these plaits i haven't done anything to it yet i haven't finger detangled and i haven't combed out with the comb i just wanted to show you on camera so i've definitely noticed that i've got growth guys even if it was just like an inch or half an inch i definitely feel the difference and the reason being is for instance if you used to trim your hair and you trimmed off half an inch or an inch your hair feels shorter my hair actually feels longer so what i'm going to do i've got the lotion on my hair already all i'm going to do is finger separate and as i said i'm collecting all the hair at the end where I'll show you. So if you want to see how much hair loss I got from this style, then watch to the very end. And I've noticed guys, I've maintained my hair very well because the hair grease has kept my hair, it's given it slip basically throughout this style. Now if you can see that guys, not much. I'll just take it off and show you. That's all I got. That's literally all I've got from this section. So I'm not doing too bad for the non-breakage. I don't think there is any breakage at the moment. This is literally just hair fall. And it's just coming out from the roots. I'm just looking and I can see roots. All right, guys, so I'll come back to you, as I said, when my hair is completely done. So this is what I've got so far, guys. I've got a nice amount of growth. And I'm just gonna show you here the growth I have. Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Look at that growth. That's how much growth I've had in the three weeks. So guys, there you have it. My hair is completely loosed out. My hair feels so much more thicker. I can feel the length. And yes, I've still got a bit of hair full coming out. I've detangled my hair as much as possible. When I wash my hair, more hair will come out. Um, not a major amount. I'm just pulling gently at the ends. Don't be alarmed, guys. There are still strands that need to come out. So let me show you all my hair together. So that's what I've just taken out now. So the hair from my whole entire head, all that came out was this. Okay, this is all that I got. And it seems like a lot maybe, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like a lot to me. <laughs> but uh, that's what I got, three weeks worth of 
hair um hair full minimal breakage so guys now you've seen the takedown of protective style and you can see how extremely important it is but what's even more important is the way you maintain your hair in a protective style if you want to see how to do this in depth so then your hair can be like this when you take it out of your protective style, nice, healthy, strong and thick, you're going to want to click this video now.